next we are going to discuss mechanics of a system of particles if a mechanical system consists of two or more particles then the force on ith particle is given by f i equal to uh, external force and uh, internal interaction between the particles where f i e is external force acting on i particle due to sources put inside the system f i j is internal forces on i particle due to j particle total internal forces uh, due to all other particles so from j equal to 1 to n on ith particle here the n is the number of uh, particles in system and uh, for example if here f i i is the force on ith particle on it itself it is a naturally zero according to newton's second law f equal to m a right so rate of change of his momentum is nothing but uh, newton second law so therefore if you use linear momentum here p equal to mv m is constant mass of the system rate of change of velocity is nothing but acceleration so acceleration the velocity we can written like this dr divided by dt then i'm going to rearrange this equation f equal to fi equal to mi d square or i divided by dt square now when the sum is taken over all the particles of the system then and this is the equation right okay so if you look at the starting point here so this one so this is the force f equal to external force and internal force okay here i am going to use uh, internal force here newton's second law f equal to mea therefore this is the f i okay use this formula here this is f equal to ma and then external force and internal force so remember here i not equal to z so here j can be sort j equal to 1 to n so i not equal to z okay on other hand side of equation first sum represented the total external force which means external force is denoted by f e according to the newton's third law any two particles of the system extract equal and opposite forces on each other so i'm going to use this f i z equal to minus f j i that means f i j plus f j i equal to zero The second sum in equation represented the internal forces in pairs and for each pair the resulting forces is zero. Consequently, the sum is Lange. So, external forces equal to d square divided by dt square m into r square. Here the i is, is starting from n equal to i equal to 1 to n particle okay there are a lot of systems are there in classical mechanics so only one particle system is a ideal cases but this is the many particle system cases next one is the center of mass so if you want to look at the center of mass how it related newton's uh, uh, law center of mass so this is x axis y axis z axis this is the origin from origin to this position so here we are placing 
uh, mass m1 and uh, r is into some another distance this is uh, m2 so distance is the distance between these two particle mass is uh, r equal to r1 plus r2 so this is center of mass center of mass is divided by the r okay so r equal to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 divided by m1 plus m2 so the center of mass r of the system given by so this is the uh, n particle system okay so this one is uh, only two particle system center of mass so this one is n particle system of mass okay so if you sum up this equation like this this one is total sum uh, which we uh, have here sum of i equal to 1 to n if you substitute i equal to 1 to n you will get this one and similar kind of this one okay then here we have the important uh, information uh, this m summation i equal to denominator value i equal to 1 to n m i uh, i'm going to use this one is m okay this m indicate total mass of the system very very important then this this equation here r is the uh, m r equal to summation i equal to 1 to n m r right so that's what i'm we have here then we need to differentiate this equation with respect to time two times let's see what will happen so one time we differentiate i got this one again i am going to differentiate this equation this is what we got so what i got here the final information here this one is uh, external force right d square is the external force this indicates that external force equal to m d square r divided by dt square equal to m a here the a is the uh, center of mass okay those the acceleration of the center of mass is due to only the external forces and is given by the newton's second law of motion so uh, this is a very very fundamental concept uh, in classical mechanics so next class we are going to discuss many particle system conservation laws we already discussed conservation laws conservation of linear momentum conservation of angular momentum conservation of uh, work energy theorem also so similar kind of application we need to apply the many particle system also you just apply same process in many particle system using many particle uh, i mean formulated uh, newton mechanics this one newton second law of many particle system if we use this many particle systems newton law then we can apply i mean uh, we can study the conservation law of linear momentum conservation law of angular momentum conservation law of total energy i mean conservation law of energy theory